A very pleasant morning, everyone. I am Dr. Wardah Muhammad from the Faculty of Business and Management, Open University, Malaysia. I will be presenting to you eight I lectures on principles of management, a compulsory course subject taken by all students of the university. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the meaning of management, identify the functions of management, appraise the roles of managers, review the main skills of managers, and discuss the different perspectives in management. All these topics are available in the module, HTML and also PowerPoint slides. In this first I lecture, I will focus only on the meaning of management, the functions of management, and the roles of managers. To start off, let us look at the definition of management. What do you understand by management? Basically, management is defined as the process of overseeing and coordinating resources efficiently and effectively to achieve the goals of the organization. Many management gurus also refer to management as getting things done to other people. Here, resources refer to all resources in the organization, including the employees, the organization's finance, physical resources such as computers, and other furniture and equipment. Meanwhile, Goals refer to the mission of the organization and the objectives that the organization wants to achieve. Efficiency refers to doing things right, i.e., are you doing things the right way? Are you minimizing costs and maximizing benefits? Effectiveness refers to doing the right thing, i.e., are you pursuing the right goals? Are you achieving the correct targets? You are only managing things properly if you are being both effective and efficient. From this, we can conclude that a manager is thus someone who is directly responsible for the task performed by employees in the organization. Do you know anyone who is a manager? What does he or she do? Generally, there are four basic functions of management. Planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Planning refers to defining the objectives to be achieved for a given period and what needs to be done to achieve the set objectives. Organizing refers to determining what tasks need to be done, who needs to be in charge, and how to do it. Leading involves motivating subordinates, resolving conflicts, and guiding the whole organization towards achieving the organizational goals. Leading will be covered in several different topics in the module. Controlling refers to the measurement of performance in all predetermined objectives determining the reasons for deviation and taking the appropriate actions where necessary. In performing his duties every day, a manager has to perform many roles. These roles were first identified by Henry Minsberg. So, what are the roles played by a manager? Essentially, a manager plays six major roles. That of a figurehead, a leader, a liaison officer, a spokesperson, a negotiator, and an initiator. Can you give me some examples of yourself or your manager playing these roles? Let's see whether you are right. The first role of a manager is a figurehead role. A manager plays this role when he or she entertains clients or performs official ceremonial roles such as cutting the ribbon or declaring a function open. The second role of a manager is that of a leader. As a leader, 
a manager needs to encourage and motivate his workers to work hard in order to achieve organisational goals. How does your manager motivate you? Does he or she give words of encouragement? Or a pat on the back when a job is well done? The third role of a manager is that of a liaison officer. In this role, he or she gives information about his or her unit or department to people outside the unit or outside the organisation. This can be in the form of verbal reports or even a press conference. The fourth role is that of spokesperson. Examples of this role include a supervisor updating his operations manager on the latest information available or a manager lobbying local authorities with a new tender for the company. The fifth role of a manager is that of a negotiator. A manager may negotiate salary scales with trade unions or negotiate terms of sales with a supplier. In this role, the manager often acts as a middleman between the organisation and a third party. The final role of a manager is that of an initiator. Here, a manager initiates corporate actions and transformations which might include starting new projects, creating a good working environment, or finding new ways to do something. Now let's see whether you can identify the roles played by the managers in the following illustrations. If you identified the manager speaking at the news conference as playing the role of a liaison officer, you are right. Did you get this right? Here, our president giving the opening speech in the convocation is an example of the figurehead role played by managers. Yes, the manager in the picture is performing the negotiator role as he is discussing some issues with a colleague. Hope you enjoyed this first eye lecture. See you in the next one.